Hello friends and welcome back to another Max Raid event update video. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's video we're going to be covering a brand new Pokemon that is now appearing in the wild area in place of what was G Max Pikachu that was running last week. It finished yesterday and now we have a brand new Pokemon in the wild area. So before we get into any dens or anything like that, we can hop over to our trusty source in Cerebi and take a look at what we have got on offer this week. So the event is running from the 19th of May until the 25th of May, which will be next Monday. So it's going to run the same exact time period that the G Max Pikachu event ran for. So make sure you grab this event while you can because the G Max EV was only available if you had a copy of either Let's Go Pikachu or Let's Go EV. So you needed Let's Go EV and then you traded that over to your Pokemon Sword and Shield version. It was uh, kind of an exclusive just for those owning those games for a short period of time. But now they've made it available for everyone in the wild era, which is really nice. For everyone can access it now eevee isn't the most competitively viable pokemon what we're going to do in this video is catch one see if we can evolve it because that will change a lot about uh the, the viability of eevee whether you catch a shiny one whether you catch uh, a decent nature or ev or you know iv one um considering there but it's probably one of the worst g max competitive pokemon but a very cool pokemon nonetheless to have in your collection right we can see from Cerebi gonna be it's all across the board the one stars the two stars uh, if you're early in your game you're still gonna be able to access this event then we go on to the three stars the four stars and the five stars we're not getting any any special items here from this Eevee I thought we might get something special but um, a bit like the Pikachu event items are pretty standard for what you're getting and uh, it doesn't appear as though we're getting anything additional you know with the Pikachu we got the the hidden ability the lightning rod which wasn't available on the G Max prior to that but I'm assuming it'll be the same with this Eevee so you'll probably be able to get its hidden ability which is uh, which would transfer into things like Hyper Voice on Sylveon um, and, and other hidden ability EVs that you can get access to or the evolutions. So um, what we're going to do, same across the board on both games there. I'm going to hop into the game now and um, we are going to show you how to get this Pokemon. So we're going to try and make this quite short today. So like we said in our last one, if you want to get the updates to the wild area, come into your mystery gift now if I just look into my den right now you can see it is a Pikachu so I've still got that G Max Pikachu event going here and um, but I'm gonna come out of here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna not go out we're gonna come to our home menu go to our mystery gift and then we're gonna click on get wild area news this will just update our system you can do the same if you want to just connect to the internet but if you reset your game, then it will undo the the update. So you need to come into this section. You've connected to the wild area. Uh, you've connected to the wild area. You've connected to the internet and received the latest updates for the wild area. Time to go and look for those Pokemon dens. So we have updated our dens. And now this should be GMAX Eevee, which it is. There we go. Brilliant. So um, like I said, what we're going to do, we're going to just dive straight into it catch this little critter and uh, see if we can evolve it because that'd be one of the things I have a question over because you couldn't evolve the G Max Pikachu um, and there's a part of me that thinks we're probably not going to be able to evolve this G Max Eevee so but you never know we will find out in uh, due time I was um I, I like thank you so much for all the responses that we got for the the G Max Pikachu event as well. A lot of you were excited about that, and um, it was crazy when you went online. Um, I bumped into like three raids that were just shiny Pikachus. Now I tried to get a shiny Pikachu myself. I ended up getting one, uh, but it was, it had the static ability, so I didn't end up posting that. And then the, the rest of the week, I just didn't have time to actually get another one, which was a little bit sad. But I will try again for Eevee this week. If I do get one, I will do some hosts uh, for the raids. But uh, what my point was originally going to be was that uh, so many people, I opened my Twitter this morning and so many people have just been running into random 
shiny Eevee raids. So, I mean, guys, it's not going to be every time, but I mean, if you want a shiny Eevee um, and you don't want to do the, the long winded method of getting a shiny yourself, then definitely try that method. There are going to be a lot of shiny Eevees available. On, uh, on the random dens, so I would definitely recommend going in and just having a hunt around to see if you can get one because it's it's obviously it's a nice Pokemon to have for your collection whether you're going to use it in competitive play or not. Um, it's a great Pokemon to have because it's quite an exclusive Pokemon um, and we've got this tiny short amount of time to actually get it. So I mean make the most of it, add it to your collection and it's there for a future occasion or just to say I have this Pokemon. Um, if I'm completely honest, it was one of the, the the exclusives that I wasn't really too worried about getting because I was like, well, I'm probably not really ever going to use it. I really, if I'm going to get an EVA, would prefer a hidden ability one so I can evolve it into what is my favorite Sylvian. Um, but I mean, right now I'm like, actually, this is this is really cool. I really like that I'm able to get this, and um, it's a little bit of a, a stopgap from you know the the. the for the rest of this month I guess for filling in what events that we can we can have access to that we've not had before uh, and you've got to think with the um, Isle of Armour due out on what I believe is the 30th of June we are probably going to get some more fun events uh, throughout June up until the lead of that so that's going to be very exciting if they're getting these out of the way now June's going to be quite an exciting month so we do get the Eevee we'll be able to check out what items we get just the candies Lumberry, Qualup Berry, Nugget, Tri Attack, and Body Slam. Well, we always love a Body Slam TR, so we can't go wrong there. And Eevee's been added to our party, so we can have a quick look at this little critter. And there it is, G Max. So that's perfect. Run away. This one hasn't got its hidden ability. But I'm assuming that they, they will be able to access their hidden abilities. Um, now the question is, can we evolve this thing or are we going to be denied? So let's hop over to our bag. Sure, I've got a lot of evolution stones. No. Firestone, incompatible. Thunderstone, waterstone, all incompatible. So there it is. There's verification. It's a little bit unfortunate that we cannot... Uh, evolve it but it makes sense because it is a G Max EV and there is no G Max there is no G Max Jolteon, Flareon, Vaporeon etc yet anyway so maybe in the future that will be one to hope for guys thank you so much for tuning in I think that wraps about everything up we're gonna have this event running until next Monday which is the 25th so do make sure that you grab this Pokemon while you've got the opportunity to and then the dens will change again and presumably it's gonna be G Max Meowth is gonna be the final one that was another exclusive and when that does drop we will cover that in another video so I hope you found this useful hope you've enjoyed the video um, take care of yourselves my friends and I will see you all for another update video very soon so until then take care and bye bye